If you ever sent the booty pig, raise your hand if you regret sending those booty pigs. What? <laughs> Alright, so this video was, um, so, somebody asked me if I thought, you know, sending news wasn't classy or something like that, and I was like, we can be a little trashy for our men. I mean, <laughs> I just feel like, alright, so let me get to the point. Now, I've sent a few in my time. I'm, I, you know, I was young and dumb. I'm still young, but I ain't dumb no more. Um, I, I just... I was at a point where once I got attention from somebody, I, even if it was still a situationship, in a situationship, I, you know, it's when you're in a talking stage, when the person feel like they can have control, like you can't talk to nobody else, you mine, but you ain't got no official title. That's a situationship, all right? So... He is just trying to get on my lap, like, excuse me, hello, what? Alright, so a situationship, like I said, so, I was just at a point where even if I was in a situationship, I still felt like he was mine, so I felt like he wasn't messing with nobody else, so I was just being dumb. Um, um, after a while, so... All right, um, and those two, once, you know, I thought they saw me naked, I thought, you know, well, mine's well in a booty pic. <laughs> I feel like they done seen everything else, so. All right, so. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, just get to the point. All right, I feel like. You can, Teddy, please, please, come on out, come on. <laughs> you can, um, I don't think there's, you know, there's rules. I mean, there's no technical rules about booty pics, you understand? I just feel like now, where I'm at right now, like, you ain't getting no booty pic unless we done been together for about a, a couple months, like, it's not going to be before we get in a relationship. It's not going to be just because we talking and you ask, send me something sexy. Like, no. No. You ain't getting nothing sexy. Because who are you? We're not going to do this situation no more. Nope. So, I'm at, basically, <laughs> would you move? I'm at a point where... We gotta be in a relationship, okay, for you to even see the goods, let alone see a pick of the goods, because now you gotta pick, and if we, I, right now, where I'm at, it's like, I'm trying to build my empire. I'm trying to brand myself more than I'm already branded, right? Um, so... If I'm talking to a guy and we, something goes wrong and he decides to just put me. <laughs> people won't let me live. People won't let me talk about booties like without these interruptions, yo. Oh, all right. Like I said, I'm at a point where I'm trying to brand myself. I'm at a point where some people know my name is Daquana White. Some people, you know, some people know me, okay? Simple as that. No, I'm not famous and all this, that, and third, but I'm trying to not build a certain reputation because, you know, I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to continue to go through life and learn just like everybody else do. But if something go wrong with me and old dude and he decide to, you know, put me on one of them that Instagram pages or put me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and put caption 
oh, she thinks she's somebody, she thinks she this and a third, but she over here sending pictures like this. I can't deal with a guy, for the most part, I will say, the guys, the, the two guys that I've dealt with that got booty pics, they were, they weren't like that, okay? They, even when we fell off and even they see me now trying to um build, you know, my brand, they don't, they never have put me out in that, you know, that, they didn't put me out like that. They didn't put me out on front street and say, she thinks she's somebody, she thinks she's doing something with her life, but she's just like everybody else. She's sending whole pics and it's that she a thought, she a hoe, she easy. They never put me out there like that and I respect them for that and I got mad respect for them, but, you know, you know, I got a little... I got a little blackmail in my pocket too, okay? So, they know better. <laughs> but nah, seriously. Um, yeah. So, like I said. But, you know, you don't know everybody. Like, those two, I kind of trusted. And I, um, we did have a little trust between each other. Not even, just, just you know, one of them, like, we was. Alright, we was tight. Like, that was my dude, you feel me? Like, not my homie. But, you know, in our situationship, we were, we had strong feelings for each other. I say that, right? So, um, yeah, I respect them. And they respect me enough not to do that. But then you never know other people. And other guys who don't like their ego hurt and don't want their pride destroyed just because you decided to reject them. But you might have sent the sexy pic already because you was drunk and you was on that henny. But, but... Um, then they, and some girls, you know, some of us, we realize, like, damn, we shouldn't have did that. Dang, you know, he ain't shit, basically. That's what people say. He ain't shit. Um, I shouldn't have sent him that picture. Uh, and then you decide to no longer deal with this man, and he decides to call you out. Because some dudes don't want their prides and egos destroyed. They don't want you to reject them. They want you to always be theirs. And you done sent them a booty pic, so they definitely feel like they got you, okay? <laughs> they feel like they got you. So now that's why I'm at a point where we gotta be in a relationship. Um, and even if people did decide to leak nudes, um, that couldn't destroy me. That couldn't destroy who I was, okay? That couldn't destroy me. And I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, some girl. Um, I knew her. Um, this was my ex. And he was actually... We, we was in a long-distance relationship, okay? So, he was all the way on the other side. On the West Coast. And I'm on the East Coast. And, you know, we couldn't see each other and stuff. So, we sent pics and all of that. But, um, for, and this one, y'all, this was my love. Like, I had so much love for this guy. Um, and I got a DM one night, and she was like, oh, and she was really kind. She was like, hey, I just saw some pictures of you on this Twitter. I don't know if it's fake. I don't know if it's hacked. I don't know if it's somebody you know. But your pictures are all on here. I'm like, oh, boy. What we got into now? So I go to the page, and it's my ex-boyfriend's page. And it's his penis picture um, as his, you know, the what is it called his cover photo i guess i would call it um the the photo that's in the background of the avi and then his avi is what is his avi i forgot what the avi was and then his bio was like bisexual this that and the third i was like this is my ex mind you so i was like hold up so she sent me the screenshots and it's me it's me, alright? So, I'm like, oh, shh, what, what happened? Um, so, I'm like, damn, you know? It's just like, because I went to school with her, and I was like, you know, like, you know, I don't want her to see my privates, and it, it's my fault, you know, because I sent it to him, but um, I hit him up, I was like, yo, you know, <laughs> it's funny, because I didn't, I cared about the news, okay? They weren't bad news, so I wasn't too shy. I was like, I wasn't happy that they got leaked, but I wasn't like, 
oh, that's hideous. Oh, the whole world gonna see that. But I wasn't happy. Like, yeah, the whole world gonna see me. You understand? But I was like, yo, you bisexual? <laughs> Like, that was the first question I asked him. And I didn't even ask him, yo, you leaked my news? With I was like, yo, you bisexual? He was like, yo, what are you talking about? Why you ain't why you ain't call me? Like, you can pick up the phone and call me. You gonna text me this shit? All this and whatever. I'm like, well, I just went to your Twitter and I, somebody sent me screenshots of me on your page and then your page saying that you bisexual and you over here tweeting all this, you know, this stuff about guys and girls. And I'm like, bruh, <laughs> you feel me? We've been dealing with each other for like a year or two. And uh, yeah, I'm worried because honey, if I was with somebody who was bisexual and I didn't know, that's a big problem. But then honey, you got my nudes on your Twitter. That's another big problem. But by the time I went to the Twitter, my pictures was gone and I was like, oh, thank you. You know, I just didn't want to see it. Um, even when she sent me the picture, I didn't even click on it. I was like, I knew what I had on. I knew it. You know, when you only, when you take so few and you only send it to a specific person, you know, you know what you had on. You know the booty shorts, you know the background, you know everything. All right. Cause that wasn't a, a picture that I sent out mass. That wasn't a mass message. That was for your eyes only. All right. So I had to hit up my best friend. I called Delary. I was like, yo, my nudes got leaked. She was like, oh, um, oh, you know, and then the way I'm sorry, y'all, I'm all adjusting my wig, but it's aggravating me because it's like bigger over here. But then she was like, I was like, you know, I ain't mad. Like they, you know, they, they, I'm just, I'm kind of, kind of mad, but it's not to that point. And she just was like, yo, that's crazy. Did you talk to him? And I did talk to him. And I was like, I learned my lesson. Like, even though I was with him, somehow they still got out. Somehow he done told me that he don't know what, somebody might have hacked his phone and his Twitter and this and the third girl, boy, girl, bye. <laughs> I was like, I was like, just done. That's where I was at. I was just done. At that point, that was the last phone conversation that we had. And I was like, you know, this is the last conversation we're going to have. We never talked on the phone since then. Like, we messaged each other on, um, my phone about to die. And my camera about to die. But we messaged each other from time to time. But, yeah, like, that's never going to be, that's never going to happen. Like, that shit, it, it kind of hurt. But it wasn't like, you know, heartbreaking or anything. It just was like, yo, you know, I thought I could trust you. And, you know, your lame ass excuse said, as far as somebody hacking your Twitter and your phone. Like, how they hack your Twitter and your phone? Like, you can just tell me your, your cloud was hacked. I would have believed that. But they hacked your Twitter. They hacked your phone. But whatever. Needless to say, ain't nobody getting no news till we together for like a year. Cut six to six months to a year, and when we done living with each other, and I send you a little sexy picture while you at work, and be like, "This what you coming home to tonight?" You know, cause I'm already I got off work early. <laughs> you know, that's the only time. Like, it's not just gonna be for situationships. It's like choose carefully if you gonna do it. If you gonna spice up a relationship, make sure it's a relationship and not a situationship. All right. So if you wanna send pictures to spice it up. Make sure that y'all serious. Make sure they ain't the type of person who gonna spill your your news, you know, when you when y'all down and out, all right? So have you sent a booty pic? Raise your hand. Do you regret it? Raise your hand. And the other guys I was talking about, it's like, we ain't even work out, you understand? Like, they ain't know what they wanted. Too old to not know what they wanted. They I like older guys, so that kind of, like, threw me off guard, like, you older than, I know what I want. You older than me and you don't even know what you want. Nah. Alright. Raise your hand if you're going to do it again. But you're going to take precaution. Alright. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. This was just a segment on booty pics, I guess. <laughs>